Hello, and welcome to Disco Elysium. This is our new playthrough, filling our CRPG slot, because we, or at least I like to always have a CRPG going on the channel. However, this is a bit of a, a an odd CRPG compared to most. But before we get started talking about that, let me just say that I actually got this game for free, thanks to the development studio, Zom, right there, you can see in the corner. Uh, I reached out to them as we were nearing the end of our Pillars of Eternity 2 playthrough, and I decided to shoot my shot, and they said, hey, here you go, friend. And I said, wow, thank you, oh my gosh, and I cried. <laughs> but yeah, although this is not any sort of like paid sponsorship promotion, I did get the key freely. So hey, there's some disclosure right there. But this is a CRPG that um, is very story heavy and it's very, very much praised by a lot of people who work on games or even um, critics of games that I really enjoy. Uh, a lot of these people that who either make games I love or talk about games in a way that I love, they really enjoy this game. So it has been on my radar for quite some time since it came out in 2019, I believe. And... They have just had nothing but good things to say about the level of player choice, how deep it, the, the writing goes and how good the writing is. It, it ranges from um, insightful to bleak to irreverent. It covers um, lots of topics on like politics, labor, <laughs> um, policing, stuff like that. Um, it can be off-putting, I've heard, if, you're, if you don't key into the irreverence. But I think we'll key in just fine. If anything, I'm more worried about being too stupid for this game. <laughs> I worry that a lot of things may go over my head. But thankfully, gentle viewer, I have you. <laughs> and another thing of import about this is that it is incredibly highly replayable, and it is not fully voice acted like Pillars of Eternity 2 was. Um, it is more voice acted akin to, I guess if you're familiar to, to this channel, to Pillars 1, where the first few lines of dialogue are voice acted or really important lines are, but other than that, it's all reading all the way down, right? And we will have a good ass time with that. But the skill system, the character creation system, it's all very, very interesting and fairly unique. There's not even any traditional combat in this game. It is all handled through skill checks. And although there is, here, we'll look at options here real quick. There is this hardcore mode because combat is odd in this way and because of how this is like a check heavy game. I'm very hesitant to turn this on for our first playthrough. So I don't think I will because it almost feels like this is the sort of thing that you turn on for a second or further down the line playthrough, right? Or perhaps you've watched someone else play the game and you are now playing it. And that is because this game lends itself to being replayable to a massive level. Like I said, because of the character creation, the skill system, and the branching dialogue, because there's apparently so much. Anyway, with all that said, let us begin. Let's do a new game here. Already, we can see there is some amazing stuff. Now, I did play a little bit of this game to make sure that it would run well, and by a little bit, I mean, I, I did the character creation. <laughs> And there is a lot to it. In fact, if you look in the description right now, uh, we will be doing our a create our own character where we will read through every single skill that we'll see. But for now, let's let's just take this in. Thinker, sensitive, physical. I think it's so wild that this is even that there that these stats even exist here, right? You've got int, psyche, physique and Motorix. The skill system is so, so fucking wild to me. But Thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. Very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. Physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body. Gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Yeah, although the character creation is very, very... Uh, detailed and the game is super ultra reactive from what I've heard 
And from what little I've seen, I've seen like an hour or two, probably between one and two hours of some point in the middle of the game, probably early on in the game being played. Just before uh, that way I could, you know, <laughs> make like an informed decision on what to play next, so to speak. But uh, yeah, it's incredibly reactive to all of this, despite the fact that you are playing a specific being. Anyway, we will be creating our own being here. Let us continue. And like I said, once we get to this next stage, well, we'll, we'll go from there. So I would like to... So there, there's two ways I think you can play this. And that is one is to play it kind of safe like this. Threes all the way down, right? That way you have a lot of things available to you. But the other way you can play this, I think, is to just lean into the sort of chaos of it. Right? The uh, the irreverence that seems to crop up that so many people talk up. So that's what I'm going to do. And always, in uh, not just CRPGs, but every RPG, I love whenever we're able to have a role-playing system with, like, checks and, and all that stuff. I love to have characters with strengths and failings. Right? It's so much fun. I think so many games ignore the possibilities that come from role-playing with failure, right? So often we're concerned with rewarding the player for choosing to go down a route rather than punishing. Is it punishing though? Or are you rewarding them with making, with choosing to be bad at something? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's a, a weird uh, stretch to make, but nonetheless, uh, here we go. This is what I would like, right? This will be our rough build which is i don't know the himbo build because <laughs> always the best way that I, that I heard the quintessential himbo described is that um they are like a golden retriever <laughs> because uh often we are caught up with the himbo being very very buff and good looking but also an important part of the himbo way way is to be kind like a like a cute dog like a love dog what a what a wonderful thing <laughs> so this is our our himbo build which is honestly not very far removed from the sensitive build but hey this is my first playthrough i wanted uh i wanted to make a custom character but more importantly this step we will be not we will not be taking what would uh, be assigned normally which would be Inland Empire for the sensitive preset. Instead, I'm thinking we take empathy. I'm thinking we take that. There we go. Now, as I was alluding to earlier, if you would like, if all of these seem really cool to you, and you would like to know more because they do offer a lot of insight into the game and how it works, because as we play the game, each one of these skills will be sort of a character. And based on our attributes over here on the left, higher attribute skills will speak to us more than lower ones, right? Hence the replayability. In fact, low ones speak so little that we will occasionally pass by checks or moments where they would interject without knowing that they would interject because our skill is so low in them, if that makes sense. So, for example, we will see our psyche and physique skills crop up more often than our motorics and intellect ones, right? They'll still show up, but a very high level motorics or intellect character would see them more frequently. Because we'll still have the option to fail at them or whatever, right? But nonetheless, just a taste here. All of this, there's so much here. It gives such interesting insight into the game and the world. If you've never played this or never seen anyone else play this, I would probably recommend it. Right? Okay. Well, that's probably enough time. Hopefully you have come back if you have decided to do that. <laughs> After our, our great read-through. It's like 40-something minutes of, of reading through all of these because there is a lot. But it's it already shows its hand of being superb writing. Anyway, nonetheless, let us continue through 
with this character. Hopefully we have not made some grave error. I'm quite excited though. Here we go. Ooh. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. R.S. Thomas. That was originally to be the name of the game. It was, um... Something... The Furies are missing. It, it had a different name other than Disco Elysium. And the name Disco Elysium will come to light. I believe as we play. I think. I'm pretty sure Disco, because of... Like, the period in, in which it's set that mocks our own world. I think so. And I think Elysium is their planet? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's begin. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Let's continue. Ever. Never. Ever. I think this is probably one of the situations where, like, the game will stop if you choose not to interact with it. I think. Like, I think we could potentially get booted back to the main menu. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> Simply keep on non-existing, I guess. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. This is great! Give me some more. What was that about the ex-something? Ooh, something's coming back. The absence of something has caused something to exist. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful, a pool of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. The meat thing? Limbic system. What was our first thing? Oh, our ancient reptilian brain. Okay. Hmm. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce. Okay. Plunge back into the fathomless deep. No, I wanted to know something about the X something. X love. X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of a logic zone. Alon Z, never let me go. No, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I guess I like that stuff. Do you really? Don't be, don't be naive. Of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness until forever ends. I do. Let me off. Maybe I do. Maybe I like the other things that come along with it. Maybe the pain is fun. I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much over yourself that I've been carried away, did we, Chef? Ooh. Inland Empire already. Holy shit. Oh, very easy, though. Oh, look at that. Easy, eight. Your total, eleven. Woo! Fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Wait, I did this to myself? Tell me what's waiting for me. I don't care. I'm an idiot. A brave idiot. Huh. Let's try and get some information here. Wait, I did this to myself. Yes, your one disco mother. Tell me what's waiting for me. There's this giant ball there in evil apes. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. 
You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. <laughs> how, how big is the ball? How small are the apes? How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. Oh, that's so small. How big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. Oh my god. And this duking it out I keep hearing about? What's that? Fine for resources. It's a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other Reva Lapes in the face. Or you lose. That's sad. That sounds like something I would like to do. Let's go. That's sad. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. What do you mean, drowned? You lost. Oh, fuck. That's good. Open your eyes. Ooh. Oh, God. Is my dick gonna be out? Oh, I'm wearing underwear. Cool. Oh, God. Look at us. A horrific visage of a man. Okay. Is there quick saving in this? Oh, yo, there is. I like that. Okay, let's do a hard save right here at the beginning. Look, I play video games. I know what I'm doing. Let's do that. Good. Oh, I should have read that. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Let's also turn up the voiceover volume. And yeah, we'll keep the rest there. There we are. We'll try that on first. Well, let's turn these down one tick. Oh, shit. There we go. Good. Another quick save. Can I zoom in and out? Oh, yes, I can. All right, but let's stay in. Oh my god, I control myself with wads. Holy shit, how do I pan the cam- Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? Is this like my- My wa- my witcher senses? My watcher senses, I'm still in Pillars of Eternity mode. Okay, I can still move like this. Wow, I can wads around, dude. Okay, can I hold, like, Alt? Or Control, or Tab to see- Oh, shit, what did I do there? Okay, Tab, just like every CRPG, right? Okay, cool. Let's look at pants. Flare-cut trousers. Minus one Savoir Faire. Plus one Electrochemistry. Really? Alright. See, look, already it's paying off if you watched that, um additional bonus video in the description. Item gained, flare cut trousers. Oh, what's this? Can I press B to open that? Oh no, I may as well just click. Okay. Cool. Oh look, I there is actually a description. Oh, <laughs> also why it, it offers these boons or detriments. Minus one savoir faire because it's tight around the thighs. Plus one electrochemistry, because it's tied around the crotch. These golden brown trousers are flare cut. Normal bell bottom trousers would be boot cut, but these are far from normal. They are someone's piss soaked, cum stained party pants. Already setting the, uh, the mood. <laughs> Good God. Oh, we zoomed out a bit more. What happens if I click this? Ooh, my perception. Perception hearing. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Fish them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminum. Oh, should we say aluminium? Maybe we should. On the aluminium key ring, there is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. I think. Although I, because I'm American, I have such a habit of saying aluminium, or aluminum, I really prefer saying aluminium. I like, I like the idea of it because it's more in line with similar elements, I guess, right? It, it makes more sense to me. <laughs> Although I'm more accustomed to saying numb. Okay, what's this here? Our jacket? 
disco ass blazer. Plus one esprit de corps. Can I open inventory with I? Oh. There weren't key bindings in the main menu. Okay, let's look at our disco ass blazer. We are not wearing any sort of undershirt. We are just like showing our power here. Plus one esprit de corps. Halogen watermarks. Looks like someone skinned this blazer off some long extinct disco animal. It has an enigmatic white rectangle on the back and the right sleeve. Right, disco in that like what we would refer to as like the period when disco music was super popular is the idea, right? Okay. We have tools, clothes, items, interact. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. Let's see. Holy fuck, this is a fucking mess over here. Can I like move my camera independently of my dude? I don't think so. What is this? Do I want this? This magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Huh. Do I have a log in case I read slowly? Oh fuck. Okay. I see. Okay, cool. Let's see. Do we have- what are our options here? No, we still can- yeah, we have no keyboard rebindings, it seems. Okay, fair enough. What is this? Our hands? I guess so. Something up for my head. Let's look at this shit. Can I hold right click and then click? With the left? Yeah. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. There really is no log here? Yo, okay. Gotta be quick. This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Seems to give me enough time. There wasn't like a delay here that I can turn on, right? No. Alright, fair enough. Let's see, a shoe. One shoe. Up here, of all places. Green shoe, left foot. Okay. Oh my god, are we in Morrowind? We can equip our shoes independently of- Wow! Oh no, okay, we just have one shoe. Okay. This, the sh this set of shoes only has one. We don't even get a bonus from it. This green crocodile leather shoe has a high heel and chrome embellishments. It fits your left foot perfectly. Now all that remains is to find the other shoe. Okay. Cool. Maybe we'll get a bonus once we have it. Okay. Let's see here. I'm very accustomed to trying to pan the camera around. Let's see. Yeah, I really just cannot. Let's see here. Should we try and grab that thing? I've heard about this. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Let's check in here first. You see bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liquors. What's this thing? Is that toilet paper strung up? No, it's my shirt. <laughs> White satin shirt. Plus one conceptualization. Minus one suggestion. Let's see, what's it say? Plus one conceptualization because a real statement to wear. Minus one suggestion and savory odor. This white satin shirt used to be fancy. It used to really catch the light. Now it smells like someone took a piss in the armpits. Oh my gosh, in the armpits. Skillful, honestly. And here I thought I had low motorics. Mirror. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really, nothing. Wipe the mirror. No way, I'm not doing this. Back off. Really, nothing? Really. All recollection of the person you are, 
The people in your life and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Let's take a look. As you slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror... Ooh, Inland Empire. Abort! You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you will see there. And you will never unbecome it. I don't care. Still wipe the mirror. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Better not to know. <laughs> like, like there's a, a dick on my face that pisses into my armpits? Yeah, let's check for that. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. What? What's wrong? <laughs> Where to even begin? There's the bloatedness. Then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I'm sorry. Touch your nose. At least my tongue is okay. Touch your tongue. I'm scared. I want to stop doing this. Wipe the mirror now. I'm sorry. Touch your nose. Bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. And it doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks, it's absorbed for you. At least my tongue is okay. Touch your tongue. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. Okay. Let's wipe the mirror now. Oh! Behold! Oh my god, I'm beautiful! You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? <laughs> of course I do. It's, um... Is it some kind of superstar? I think I'm a superstar. This is the face of a late-stage alcoholic. <laughs> I don't know, I'm down with one or two. <laughs> this is the face of a late-stage alcoholic. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it. The face is making it itself. I have no idea why it's there. It just is. I'm not making it. The face is making it itself. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. Okay, try to stop. No. Keep making the face. I'm going to keep making the face. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face. And now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. It is kind of indescribable. I don't know. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. Suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. <laughs> it's insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. I'd go with this. I, 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 I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too in a sad has-been kind of way. Oh, yo, look at this. A check. There might have been ten years ago. It's a little more than a cadaverous spasm now. Encyclopedia... Formidable, 13. Oh, holy shit, 8% chance to check. Electrochemistry, impossible, 18. Whoa! Okay. Let's try encyclopedia. <laughs> Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Why not? This is a white check. You may retry it. Let's try it. Do a roll. I failed. Formidable failure. Like the rest of you, it comes from, from a bad place in the past. That's all you know for now. Alright. 
And this 3% chance, we may as well try it. Man, and we're even like four in physique, right? Electrochemistry is physique. It's red. Yeah, it's all color-coded there. Good. Okay. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. Fair enough. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Well, let the mirror be for now. Alright. Fair enough. Let's head on over here. Interact with this last thing. Alright. Here we go. Now, in one of the uh, reviews that I've heard, you can die interacting with this, hence the quick save. <laughs> All right. Ceiling fan. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Inland Empire. Holy shit, medium success. What was our chances? Wow, 10 and we had 11. Whew. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Grab the tie. Should I just grab the tie instead of pulling on the fan? Let's pull on the fan and stop it first. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Let's pull on the light bulb. Oh, fuck. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Right, we have a hangover. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Pain threshold. It's just a little hangover-induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. Pull again to turn the lights off. Bring it on. Should I br say bring it on? Fuck it. Bring it on. We need to get adjusted to it, because... I'm assuming we will go outside and it will be daytime, right? So let's adjust now. Bring it on. Little black spots dance on your retinas. It's almost... pleasurable. Ooh, I know exactly what that's talking about. It is kind of perverse. Alright, savoir faire. Medium 10. Grab the tie. Plus three fan is turned off. <laughs> all right, cool. I love that it shows all the math here for it, right? What's contributing to it? Oh shit, I fucked it up. You reach out to grab the tie. But what's this? Diffuse, radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. Grab your chest. Oh fuck. Ceiling fan. This is bad. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you from moving for quite a long time. Still ongoing. Now is a good time to start worrying. Finally, the pressure recedes. You find yourself covered in cold sweat and trying not to move, hoping it will keep you from dying. Oh shit, now I can't grab the tie anymore. Holy fuck. Put skill points into Savoir Faire to open this white check. Oh. I see. Holy shit, okay. That tie will just be up there forever. Who needs it? Look at me. Am I not already looking pretty... Well, <laughs> I'm looking like something. <laughs> All right. We'll keep these first few a little bit on the shorter side for what we normally do. Typically, if you're unfamiliar, we try to run about uh, a little under an hour, 50 minutes for each of these. But we'll keep this one a little short and a little sweet. So, for now, hey, Disco Elysium. When next we come back, I guess we're going out one of these doors, or whatever this is. Is this a door or a window? It might be a window. Either way, when next we come back, we're checking out some more of this room. Until next time, please take care of each other.